So people ask me what what I do at work. Like, Daddy, Daddy, what do you do all day? Well, here's one thing that's um, particularly impressive. So usually I'm I'm um, repairing ovens, replacing power cords on things, but. Electron Paramagnetic Resonance Lab, lots of different um, big electromagnets, and I don't get to work on the research, I don't get to design the microwave equipment, although I do um, get to get into arguments with people about how three-port circulators work at, um, as opposed to four-port four port microwave circulators and um, I'll go on Wikipedia and search for um, microwave circulators. They're really cool devices. Um, I get to put wooden tables on and in this particular project we're switching between two different kinds of probe style. Like here's one probe with a um, um, nitrogen expansion cooler you take a tight tank of nitrogen and um, let it go out through an orifice, I think. And there, this is a glass doer pipe and a probe assembly with an uh, uh, electric heater with ice cold nitrogen blowing across it. And sample goes right here. There's little Zeeman coils and I have to design the bracket. This is um, from a different magnet. so. I had to redesign the thing so it fits in underneath this kind of magnet. It goes between the pole pieces down here and redesign parts that don't fit and build cables and um, move the old probes together. So this one with um, a different style with microwave um, waveguides instead of, instead of coax cables. This one's going over on the other table. But this is research engineering. A typical fun day at the Electron Permagnetic Research Lab in the Chemistry Department at the University of Washington. Well, look at this thing. This is not going to work. I guess it's not bracket design since the um, the cooler has to come in between the pole pieces, but this was designed for a tiny um, pole magnet. And we're going to have to redesign the entire probe so the, so the bias coil is rotated 180 degrees. See, sometimes it really is fun.